enough to tell. The call of the joint fight against Catherine. We will land the final blow. Check it out. We've gone legitimate, and Mole put me in charge. Oh no. What do you need? Oh no. So, kids here have a stuff. Aviation shoot, acrobatics plus one, armor class plus one. Wow. Hey, I think. <laughs> Please, be welcome. Have a drink. To your very good health. Smell the wine first. Uh, I don't have a beast jump, but let's see what happens. He a bit sus. A faint hint of cloth grass, a herb that is said to elicit the truth. Jahira smiles at you knowingly. It doesn't spoil the taste, if that's what you're wondering. <laughs> Indulge me. You don't know what you're missing. Well over a century old, and yet it hasn't lost a hint of flavor. Still not quite so sure about you, though. People tend to lose more than just flavor when illithids get their hands on them. I speak from experience. There's an air about you. Something... Alien, answer me true and do not lie. The parasite is changing you, isn't it? Just answer the question. Let's go with the deception. I'm, I'm pretty good at this, so... Okay, 14 only. Crazy numbers. And you're certain you will continue to resist? Look around you. Good men, good women. Stranded here, two feet in the grave. If we're to survive, I have no choice but to trust you. Can I? Good. Because I'll cross your heart myself if you break it. I have every reason to be cautious. I've traced people like you. People with parasites in their brains. All the way here from Baldur's Gate. The cult of the Absolute is spreading through the city. Quietly, quickly, and with unsettling deliberation. We tracked them to this ancient village, only to be faced with a man we killed and buried over a century ago. General Gadric Thorm. Remember that name. Thorm. He's the leader of the Absolutist. Reasonably evil name. He was a Sharan once. Took to building uh. an army of dark justiciers beneath this very village. Alongside the local druids, we made it our business to see him deposed, dead and buried. But uh -huh. he's returned. Not only does General Gadric Thorm live again, it seems he is no longer mortal. He has become, in fact, invincible. We met him on the road here, commanding an army of the Absolute intent on destroying Baldur's Gate. I put an arrow through his eye myself, only to watch him pluck it out like a splinter. He healed right in front of me and chased us into the shadows. Things looked hopeless. But experience has taught me that no matter how bleak things look, there's always hope. You are that hope. Not immediately. Protected by your artifact, you can infiltrate his forces at Moonrise Towers, posing as a true soul. 
Aha. Find out what it is that makes him invincible, so we can strip him of his advantage. Once Catherick is without his shield, the sword. Together, we assault his tower and put a final end to this blight. You're the only one who can get inside the towers. You were born for this mission. Or made for it, rather. Besides, you need this. You need to heal yourself of your infection. Any cure starts with understanding the disease. Whatever magic Gatherick's using to control these tadpoles, it must be at moonrise. Until then, we keep drinking wine when we meet. <laughs> You're not our only secret weapon. Isabel, a faithful cleric of Seluna, and a light in the darkness. She cast the moon shield around the inn. It's the only reason we're still alive. Ah, okay. She's upstairs in her chambers. Tell her I sent you, and she'll see you through the shadows safely. Shadowheart would, would like to see her. Okay. Hey, Prakus. Ah, you found your way. Good. I thought I'd scout ahead, check for any nasty surprises, of which I found a great deal. Yep. Shades, death, harpers, flaming fist, and this, of course, and the makings of an alchemist's workbench. Ingredients, too. There's a recipe I'm trying to replicate, something that might help you. That is, if you're still going to help Wolbrin and the others. In that case, you'll be very pleased to learn what I have in store for you. A new type of smoke powder. All the bang and boom of the original, but with an extra surprise. I call it the Brilliant Retort. You'll need it if you're going to survive this cursed place. You'll need it if you're going to get into Moonrise Towers and help the deep gnomes taken prisoner there, you'll need it. If you're going to save Wolbrin. <laughs> Wolbrin, oh, um... They didn't get trapped. They were kidnapped. Taken against their will by those cultists. If I ever get my hands on one of them... Well... With you on the job, perhaps I won't have to find out. I'll do my part, according to my talents. And you, I hope, will do yours. The brilliant retort will aid you. Thus, I will make it. Okay, anything I can do to Unless help. you've got access to a 300-year-old Tempusian apothecarial almanac? No. But that's for me to worry about. You, you do whatever it is you do. Some of us are counting on you. Right here! Big bot. Patrols report. Preparing to march, I wager. Seems that way. It's always the first time. Seems someone's been skimming our supplies. Maybe not, Mom. Raphael, your move. Ah! Uh... You trap me. I didn't even want to take this one. Kalim Shan rules, dear. The first piece touched is the first piece moved. That's garbage. No matter where the night goes, I'm gonna lose it. Then make the sacrifice useful. Guard your mistra, or come for my Cyric. Look who made it! For once, I saved your butt out there, didn't I? We're square now, Chief. Say, do you play lance ball by any chance? It's my first time playing. The keen gleam in Mole's eyes reveals the lie. She knows the game well. 
and she wants to win. Always laid a fine trap for you, Mole. It looks to me like his Siric could be dethroned. Slate of hand. Uh, uh, succeeded. Oops. Rolls. Brava! Lovely work. I see I was right to make you the offer I did. You will consider it, won't you? Ouch. What a lovely specimen she is. A blushing apple begging to be plucked. She cheated, of course. But that's half a charm. Set Bogarov back to hell, will you? My favorite kind. Ambition. But don't you worry about Moll. It goes without saying. She still has the unconditional freedom to choose the only option she has left. Besides, I do enjoy being in this neighborhood again. It has such a rich history of abject tragedy and tragedy my friend <laughs> well there's my bread and bloody butter why spoil it it's all out there waiting to be discovered you never know what you might find if you just dig a little deeper she won she has a taste for it now. <laughs> She'll be the one who comes to me. Doesn't but bode so well. about my lesser pursuits, why bother with trifles when I'm in the illustrious presence of my very favorite client? Uh -huh. Tell me, oh apple of my eye, how have you been? You don't have any gills to get green around yet, but you do look a little worse for wear in this light. Splendid! And yet, I have this picture in my head of you tossing and turning in the middle of the night, thinking strange things, dreaming strange dreams. And there's this little voice inside of you asking is this my will or is it the worms but you have no answer and no way of knowing the good thing is though there's only one little voice you really should listen to mine mm. see you soon Uh -huh. The absolute's claws have dug deep. A blushing apple begging to be plucked. Mm. Raphael's angling for the girl's soul. Yep. Mm. We should at least try. The girl's as bold as a lamb cavorting in a lion's den. But I think she's clever enough to flee before the jaws close around her neck. One way or another, she'll see there's no winning Raphael's game, and she'll walk away. Then Raphael collects another trophy, and Mole sells her independence to the Hells. You've seen what happens when a bound soul reaches for freedom. I can't imagine what cruel penance Moll would pay if she were ever to resist that fell bastard. He brings to mind a story. The Devil with the Silver Tongue. An old fairy tale my father read to me. The kind with a hero, a villain, 
and the moral. A farmer made a deal with the devil, so the story goes. In exchange for the farmer's dearest fruit, the devil granted him a bottomless coin purse. The farmer's dearest fruit, naturally, was no apple nor peach, but his beloved daughter. We can learn a lot from fairy tales, don't you think? Refuse him, no matter how tempting the offer, no matter how delicious the feast he lays out for you, the cost will be too great. That's because you still have hope. But when he becomes your last hope, remember this. He'll require of you only what you're least ready to part with, and then require more still. You might think you'd give up anything for a cure, but the devil won't take just anything. He'll take everything. Okay, we, we get some inspiration. Uh, let's try try to talk with Maul. Nice strategy back there. If we put our heads together, I bet you and me can make a tidy stack of coin in Baldur's Gate. But Raphael's offered me a partnership already, and it seems like a sweeter deal than throwing my lot in with you. Or log. So what if Raphael's a devil? Means he's got the power to keep his promise. Also, bit rich for you to tell me who I can or can't make deals with, all things considered. Poison? Sure. You must love the taste of it. He seems to know you pretty well. Looked like he was doing a pretty good job. If I had to deal with gods and worms in my head, I'd make a deal with anyone. Zevlor couldn't save everyone. It's my job to look after those who survived. Now there's no grove, no coin, no one taking us to the city. I'm not letting my crew get eaten by shadows. Okay, Maybe so we I'll need to lift the curse, Maybe otherwise these, these but it'll be my people choice. are going to perish. Not the devils, and not yours. Ah, Misora. Playtime's over, pet. What do you want, Misora? Drop the attitude and perk up your ears. You've got a new mission. Absolute's cult has gone and grabbed one of Zariel's assets. A devil. And a powerful one at that. They're locked up in the cult's fortress, Moonrise Towers. And you're getting them out. Well, your playmate's wasting precious time. Let's see about getting her priorities fixed. Ahem. <clears throat> Clause Z, Section 13. Should promised soul refuse abeyance or neglect duty, the pact holder shall cast the promised into a vernus as a lemur. I'll make it simple. Will fails or refuses, and he turns to a thick blob of stink flesh and sinks to a vernus. Now, be a good boy and play fetch, pup, or you'll spend an eternity sizzling in the hells. Mizora's words may be flippant, but they are tinged with desperation. She cannot afford for Will to fail this mission. This may be your best chance to negotiate Will out of his pact. Uh-huh. Oh, and what condition is that? Your mind links with Will's, drawn in by his increasing panic. What are you doing? A doubtful Will catches his breath, but says nothing, and your connection fades. Interesting. Now, 
Why should I go letting my favorite pet off his leash? Performance. <laughs> Let's go with the performance. I have pretty nice bonuses, so that's why we are going to do it. And still, I almost failed it. Okay. That was interesting. I've never seen such a fearless display of sheer idiocy. Bravo! <laughs> Fine. I'll play your game. But I amend the pact once the mission's done, not before. Clause F, Section 9. Soulbinder shall bestow reward or favor only upon soul bearer's fulfillment of related obligation. You've heard of this provision. Better known as the You First Clause. Now, to Moonrise, pet. And do you mind the shadows? They've been especially hungry. Okay. Mm, I want to have a word. You know, I feel a connection between us. Like we're two souls walking the same path. Uh-huh. You might be a little naive in the ways of the world, but I see promise in you. Ambition. Uh-huh. <laughs> to be naive. You have a big heart. You like doing what's right. So I was thinking, what would be the right thing to do when we get to Moonrise Towers? When we come face to face with whoever is controlling the parasites in our heads? God! Now try to think outside the box just a little. Okay. Consider the parasites in our skulls and think how many others have the Mind Flayers infected. Hundreds, thousands, probably, and they're not just goblin trash. There are powerful people in the worm's thrall. Whoever's waiting for us at Moonrise Towers controls it all. But if we can take that control from them, imagine the power we'd wield if the person actually controls them. That's just the thing. If we control the parasites, then we can order them not to change us. All the power with none of the tentacles. I'm just saying, there's an opportunity here. If we can control the tadpoles, we can keep ourselves safe and liberate the world from this evil. Do. It's not often the universe hands you something like this. We'd be fools to squander it. Of course, this all assumes we live long enough to find this, uh, moonrise. But I'm feeling optimistic. God damn it! Why did it have to be Mizora? Why did it have to be Zariel? We're supposed to risk our necks to get one of her assets. What if it's a runaway like me? Or something far worse. I never forget what Will did. Not ever. I'm here because of him. And I'd do just about anything to help him. But devils never lose. You know that, right? Sure, they'll give you a bit of tat here and there. But the house always wins. Guys have a their own tent tent camp here. The more bullshit she pours, the more of it. Mazora set me on fiends inside and outside the hells. She's never ordered a rescue. Gods, she makes a mockery of everything the blade stands for. Such an asshole.
Thank you for sticking your neck out for me. I mean it, but I'm not going to celebrate till I'm actually free. Can already feel her scheming. She won't let me go without a fuss. Trust me on this. The same thought crossed my mind. I'm only to hunt the infernal, the demonic, and the heartless. But nowhere was it stated that I can't help one. Either we find it, or I made a mindless blob clawing at demons on the front line of the blood war. And it means everything to me. I always knew what my future held, and I know I chose right. <clears throat> yeah, the camp never stops to amaze me. Oh, this is much better camp than, than in like Dragon Age, because I, the stuff actually happens and the plot continues. Which is pretty good, good fo focal point for the, the for the plot. Oh. oh, it's you. I'm getting stronger. I don't know how much longer I can resist it. But it's good to see you're making progress. You took an unexpected route here. Yeah. He did a brave thing, saving those people in the grove. Don't be so hard on yourself. It's not your fault the world is wicked. You did the right thing. The hurt runs deeper than she's willing to show you. Yes. Yes, I am. It just doesn't stop. We are being bombarded by waves of telepathic energy. Wave after wave with hardly a breath between them. I almost dare not rest. Each wave a set of orders to the infected. The order for your transformation has been given many times already. I'm afraid this burden is one I have to carry alone. I just hope my powers last long enough to see this through. In any case, the Absolute knows you carry me with you now. It wants to retrieve me. I am the only one who can resist the Absolute's influence. Hence its fear of me, its... its desperation. Unfortunately, that also means it is dedicating more and more resources to my retrieval. The task ahead is monumental, but we're all that stands between victory for the absolute and freedom for all. This is not just about you and I anymore. It has become far bigger than us. You must infiltrate Moonrise Towers, discover the secrets of the Absolute, and put an end to it. So we can finally be free. Now I must rest. And you must carry on. Do not let my efforts be in vain. All right. So, <laughs> well, we'll try to do this. Floric. He still won't speak. Just keeps going with the bloody song. Nothing of use on his person. His original writ of duty, signed by Eltan himself. Fella must be one of the very first flaming fist. He must know something. Let's not give up on him yet. Floric. Hells. I know that voice. Will. In Timora's name, what happened to you? 
The Hells have had their vengeance, and I doubt they are done with me. Ye gods. Fate has no shortage of troubles to burden us with. I don't suppose you found a way into the towers? Isabel cleared this place, and he just appeared. We think he's staying at the inn when the curse fell, which means he's been trapped inside for a century. Uh -huh. Beggars believe he's alive at all. Hopefully, he'll come round. Tell us something useful about getting through the shadows. Right now, he seems to have little more to him than a refrain from some song or other. Cleric of Saluna. She's got a room upstairs if you want to meet her. Just don't interrupt her while she's doing whatever it is that keeps this place shadow free. I doubt it too, but I haven't given up hope. Unfortunately, I won't be here when he comes around. I'm heading to Baldur's Gate to seek reinforcements. The council sent a carrier pigeon with news that the city has been dealing with absolutist attacks. The Steel Watch is holding strong. I'll request that Lord Gortash send some of them to aid in the fight against Moonrise. The curse won't harm them. Gortash, as in Enver Gortash. Last I knew, he was a minor player in city affairs. A lot's changed since you left Baldur's Gate, Will. Gortash has gained considerable influence since then. The Steel Watch are the future of warfare. Gondian automatons that can be sent into battle without risking any lives. So Except golems. those of our enemies. Uh -huh. Lord Gortash had only completed work on the prototypes before Ravenguard and I left for Elteral, but even they were formidable. With the Steel Watch at our backs, we can storm the tower whatever Ketherick throws at us. I'm sure of it. I'll do my best, but there's every chance I'll fall to the curse of all the cult before I reach the city. Don't count on me and assume no aid is coming. Work with Jahira. That harper's mind is as sharp as her blade. Follow her guidance. Her tongue, tongue is sharp Farewell. as well. That we'll hasn't again, changed God's willing. since Baldur's Gate 1. We're discussing fist business, and you're no fist. Uh, Flaming Fist was Fistus Missionary. Heard you're meant to be heading toward the towers. With a single word, Floric could charge the coast's most powerful force with taking back the Grand Duke. We ought to be doing just that, not babysitting this stump. And yet, orders are orders. Flame Color. That's your name, isn't it? Art Color? I'm Fistula. Thaniel and me climb, climb, climbing up a tree. We... we need you, sir. One of our own's been taken. A Grand Duke. You might know something that could help us bring him back. We found him out in the shadows, just... wandering. Nothing survives out there for long. Don't know how he made it, or where he came from. This is no physical ailment. It is a spiritual malaise. The man's mind has been gripped by the shadow fell, yet it has not broken. No idea, I'm afraid. Whoever it is must be someone important to him. He's been saying the same thing over and over ever since we found him. No, not till I met Art, anyway. It seems to be all he remembers. Thank you.
I didn't realize I had an audience. The true soul who's going to save us all. I'm Isabel. Pleased to meet you. Myself and Our Lady are doing what we can to hold the line. I hear you and your tadpole will be our offense. Free from the Absolute's influence, yet able to walk among cultists. It's almost too good to be true. But I'd be a poor cleric indeed not to avail of a blessing when I see one. Let me guess. Jahira sent you to beg a protection spell of her favorite cleric. Pretty much. Shadow Heart did these likes, probably a lot. Perfect. It'll make you immune to the lesser effects of the Shadow Curse, which will get you closer to the towers. It won't be enough to protect you against the areas of utter darkness, though, where the curse is strongest. This lantern should, though. Okay, we got the fixed lantern. Ketherick is a frightening man. But you have something he doesn't. Allies worth having. While you're busy in the towers, I'll be sure to... Wait. Do you hear that? Something's wrong. Interesting that Selun... Uh, clerics can actually use bladed weapons. That looks like a spear. Okay. <sighs> Hello, Isabel. What's Marcus, with the wings? Is that you? What's happened to you? I've been blessed. You can be too. Come with me, and you can hear all about it from Catherick himself. Uh huh. He's a flaming fist. Or was. Came with the others when we created this haven. And I thank you for your hospitality. True soul, my instructions are clear. Take the girl to Ketherick alive. Okay, yeah, I don't have a much of wisdom bonuses, but as the difficulty is six, so he wasn't expecting us to do this. into your mind's eye its instructions vivid in your mind nothing is more important than bringing the girl alive what's going on if you have something to say say it pathetic the absolute sees all your treachery will be punished the absolute of course you can't believe them marcus Ketherick will never give you whatever it is you've been promised. <laughs> okay, so her Time wound is a broken that. heart. Okay. Oh no. Come on. Okay. But let's try this again. Okay, so we'll have Wrong armor. No time to waste. <laughs> Critical hit. Not bad. But we have lots of enemies here. Fighting bolt. 
and she's healing herself. She can she can cast two. So two actions in a turn, which is nice. But it's like for the group, so I could start with this. Okay, can't do anything except. That's a lot. <laughs> Maximum spell. I wonder if this is worth the cost. Disadvantages. Target is too close, okay. But I'm not in the Okay, it's a too close ghost. If I go here. He he saved for half damage. Where's the where's the cleric? Okay, she's over there. Okay, no action. They are surprised. I would be surprised. Okay, they are coming in. Okay, ganking up. This is where we use use the fireball. Your penance will be paid now. General Tedrick wants her alive. At any Wild say Panther. Okay. Okay, Isabel has. Lots of hit points. That guy doesn't have a lots of hit points. Mist. Oh no. I think we need to change weapons. Take your They're doing pretty well. Okay, it's, they're still. Yeah, 
I can get three, three enemies in the say uh, explosive radius. Gail, to make a kill. Yeah, feasts. Go feasting. Wait, that sounded like totally wrong. Okay, we'll change weapon and stay stay with that lady. She, she wants to go fight. Pink Toror. Okay, now, now they are ganging up on the Pink Toror, so it's going to be mincemeat soon after. There's an illicit parasite in that corpse. You should take a look. Yeah, sure. I wonder if the gods are watching me. Isabel, are you all right? I'm fine. <coughs> Marcus has been with us since the start. They've been tracking us this whole time. And that was no random attack. You were the target, Isabel. They know how important you are. But they don't know about you. Ketherick will strike again. We need you to strike first. Discover the source of his invulnerability. Make him mortal so we can make him bleed. Good luck. We're in more danger than I knew. If something happens to me, everyone in this inn is dead. Like that. Why does a man like him do anything? Power, spite, some kind of twisted personal morality. I can understand why he'd want me dead. Without me keeping the curse at bay, everyone in this inn, everyone intent on killing him, is dead too. As for why he'd want to take me alive, I don't know. And I don't want to find out, now that we have you. I hope I won't have to. No mercy. For Ketherick will have none on you. Ah, yes, our cat is, cat is okay. Animal hunting. Okay, this is not going to go well. First, cultists nearly murder us, and now we have a traitor on the inside. Can't we trust anyone? Easier said than done. Traitors among us. A child taken. 
and still I can only feel relief. Okay, so they, 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 they took the... Honesty will serve you better than charity. I blundered into their trap and it cost us. You have the honor of making up for my mistake. I trust that you will. Then speak. The same way hoppers learn of anything. Poking noses where they don't belong. We sent an agent to infiltrate this cult. <laughs> Latest fad among the city's bored nobility, I thought. Until that same agent returned and tried to plant a knife in my neck. My first encounter with a true soul. I'm glad ours ended on friendlier terms. From there, I made some inquiries of my own. Saw firsthand how easily the cult could turn friend to foe with but the twist of a tadpole. And so I gathered my harpers and came to the source. Moonrise Towers. Ugh. Some crusty ballad monger, I expect. They have me slaying gods or laying with them, depending on the bard. <laughs> yeah. So which is it? There are as many versions of a tale as there are people to tell it. Let that satisfy you. In any way, the heroics of old have done seemingly we fight, we die. And we just hope that when our time comes, there is someone else to take our place. <laughs> no need of that. Every harper is a bard unto themselves, I'm afraid. Help me root out this cult. And they can spin stories about you for a change. Mo would do the same for any of us. You know it! But how do we get into Moonrise? Oh no. We can't fight those shadow things. <laughs> He's not going well. I beat up those harpies, and they're way scarier than shadows. You know what Mole would hate more than anything? Bad things happening to us. You've seen what's out there. We wouldn't stand a chance. But it's our job to bring Mole back. Look at her. She's a proper adventurer. And if we got hurt, Mol would be really mad at us. Fine. But you've got to understand, Mol is family. Bring her back, please. Can, can we trade? Mol can be cranky and mean, but she looks after us. So stock up, all right? Because you need all the help you can get to bring her home. Hmm. I'm not supposed to mention it to anyone, but I do have something pretty special in stock. A key. What, what does kind it look of key? Like? What does it open? What treasures await behind its lock? That's for one lucky buyer to find out. Maul gave it to me and said I shouldn't let it go to just any old jack a day. Uh, that's a that's a good roll. I mean, maybe. One. Oh. Critical failure. Ah, uh, use inspiration. What? Okay, apparently I can't roll critical failure twice in this game, which is pretty, pretty okay. I, I thought... <sighs> Never mind. Here. You can have it then. Come with me. Always makes me oh, he, you have uh, something to say. Oh my god, soldier. That's Jahira. The Jahira. Yeah, I know. I have played Baldur's Gate 1 and 2. Not personally. I mean, I wish. She's an absolute legend. Years ago, 
over a century, Jahira was part of a group that saved Baldur's Gate from Saravok, a ball spawn trying to plunge the city into okay, war. Okay, so ball spawn are uh, used to tell us stories about them. Come on, knowledge the now. The legends who protected the city from evil. She said Jahira was a powerful druid, adamant, tough. I've told myself those stories a thousand times since. I never thought I'd meet Jahira. She's a hero, and I was always some outer city kid. Can't believe she wants to talk to us about working together. What a day! Copper for your thoughts. Let's go, go, go. Aha! Uh -huh. Thought I sensed an infernal. What are you doing here? Same thing as you, I reckon. Trying to stay out of the shadows. Hold on. I know you. The weaponsmith, right? Drafted into the blood war when your city was swallowed by Avernus. Not too different from my own story. Well done making it out alive. Same to you. Though unless my senses deceive me, you brought a bit of the hells back with you. Infernal engine? Who needs a heart when you've got one of these to keep you warm? Thank you, Zariel. Forget warm. You're burning up. Might be burning out a piston ring. Or leaking oil. Mind if I take a listen? Please do. I've been dying to find an infernal mechanic. Now that's hot. Too hot. I think I could sort you out. But I'll need some infernal iron and a lot of luck. Hey, soldier. We've got some infernal iron already. Let's give it to him, eh? Please let this work. Mmm. The weight of it. And that blaze of chaos. Can't imagine this where my heart should be. Must be quite the experience. Give me just a moment. And I think... There. You'll have to install it, I'm afraid. I don't think there are thick enough gloves in all the realms to protect from that kind of aid. feels good I'm still burning hot as hell's hole but I feel less changeable cheers mate pleasure and as for the heat I haven't got any solutions now but I'm not giving up could be if the combustion chamber had its own insulation or if we had some kind of enchanted coolant let me sleep on it yeah. just might be able to work something out okay he's he's a genius time i see you I'll scotty something promising to report beam me I up scotty more infernal iron either way though so keep your eyes open take care damon's upgrade didn't cool me down but it did juice me up. <laughs> I don't okay. think I've ever felt more powerful. Sooner rather than later would be good. I feel like I'm burning serious fuel. Oh, fuck yes. I'm ready to burn all night. Speaking of, I could eat a giant badger. Is it almost time for dinner? Yeah. Yeah. Did you see him? The traitor. Disgusting. Yeah, we kind of killed him.
this is interesting. Like it would be, it would have been like censored of the map. Monsters, but the Selenite rug. So I, I think we are on the right right deck. Main lock fear. Shadow telephone, okay. Critical miss. Snarl. Okay, I think Will is in a bit of trouble now. Finally. What to do? Never a dull moment. That took the edge off. Still breathing. Despite everything. I don't know why I can't I can't dig. That one. These boots have seen everything. Okay, so we found the Selenite. Hideout. A Selenite shrine. Hidden away. Perhaps they had no choice but to hide. Conceal their sacred lyrics of Revenant Goddess to the darkest corner of this place. Okay, so some relics. <laughs> 